Good afternoon to all. My name is Chandresha Lal, and I'll be representing my team to present our innovation for the future Formula One vehicle. So, for our first innovation, we came up with the idea of having gyro fins on the vehicle. For the current Formula One design, we already have the fins, but they are not movable. So, with this gyro fin design, uh, we will be able to increase the steering performance as well as improve the stability of the vehicle. Uh, for instance, if the car is if the car is turning left the fin would turn to the left as well, which will help to increase the steering. Um, and as you can observe from our design of the vehicle, it has a closed cockpit design, which brings us on to our second innovation, that is the smart glass. So this smart glass functions um, to provide information to the driver, such as information on tire pressure and also a 360 degree view of the car at all times. This is to improve the visibility for the driver itself. And we got the idea from this movie called um, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, which was starred by Tom Cruise. So for our third innovation, we came up with the idea of having gyro seats in the car itself. So the gyro seats function um, using two hydraulic systems where they'll be placed on both sides of the seats. So the function, the main purpose of this system is to keep the seat in a vertical position at all times, even through the corners. So the expected outcome for this is to reduce the amount of G-force being exerted on the driver itself. And for our final innovation, we came with a concept to introduce flapped and stretchable wing design. For the current Formula 1 vehicles, the spoiler or the wing is flat. So by having a stretchable and flapped wing design, we'll be able to improve the stability of the vehicles in corners, allowing the drivers to go faster. For instance, if you turn left, the left part of the wing will move lower and the right part will go higher. This will help to balance out the airflow of the vehicle itself. And when it moves downwards, it also stretches to increase the surface area which helps to increase the downforce. So those are the innovations that our team has came up with. So thank you. Really nice to see. Um, it's very innovative. I can see all the, all the ideas. Um, uh, and. The thinking behind it completely makes sense and there's no doubt this car would be very quick. Uh, I can see the details, example, we speak about the steering, uh, how, how, how it would make the effect and as well as at the same time the straight line, it would reduce, reduce the track, drag of the car and make it quicker in the straights. Um, also the gyro, 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 how do you call it, gyro, gyro seat, yes, it's very interesting because now nowadays obviously the G-forces in the car, they're getting very high and uh, there's a lot of stress going through our body and with a quick car like this, you would need some assistance. So uh, that's, uh, that's a great idea, I think. And, um, and also, the, you speak about the screen, uh, all the information coming to the screen directly without maybe um, any separate uh, dash, which always had to wait and uh, can be in, in front of your vision. It's a very clever idea as well, well as the 360 view around us because you know nowadays for us it's very limited what we can see in the car. Um, the mirrors they are quite small and there's quite a bit of vibration so that's I think that's a great idea and would give you an edge to the other competitors so uh, really interesting to, to see it and, and hear and uh, yeah thank you and well done. We have also managed to gain a lot of experience throughout um, the whole process of this competition and we are glad to be the champions for this. And um, we want to say that congratulations to all the future graduates of UTP who will be graduating soon um, at the convocation. Uh, basically, this is actually a, a, a run-up uh, to both uh, events that we have on campus. One is, uh, the, uh, of course, the run-up to the uh, F1 uh, <coughs> race, which is uh, going to happen uh, this Sunday, yeah, this weekend. This is the last race that uh, Malaysia will be um, having um, after a few decades. And, um, and also, this is also part and parcel of uh, our celebration for the uh, 20 years of um, UTP and also a run up to our convo, which is going to be held uh, on October the 15th uh, next month.